I am thrilled to have uh, someone I've admired so much over eight seasons on Dirty Jobs from the Discovery Channel. He is Mike Rowe. And, Mike Rowe, you are on Mornings on the Mall, WMAL. Well, what an honor uh, for me. Thank you for having me. Well, you're in town, actually, because you're speaking tonight at the Koch Foundation's Forum. It's at the museum. It's called the Diploma Dilemma, Exploring the Costs and Value of College Education. Let's start right there. We actually had an open debate with our listeners last week about this. Do we emphasize college education too much in America? Well, it depends. You know, um, I think in general the answer is probably uh, at some point, you've got to look at a trillion dollars in student loans and a skills gap, which at the moment uh, is over three million jobs, according to the BLS, that people don't really seem to want. And of the jobs that are available today, something like 10 or 11 percent actually require a four-year degree. So it's a tricky subject because obviously education is not something anyone in their right mind would come down against. But I think it's more the notion that the only useful type of education can come with a four-year degree. That's probably the thing worth looking at. Well, and of course, your position has got to be informed by the incredible journey you went on with your show, Dirty Jobs. I mean, I really loved it because you got so into it, and I felt like at the end of each episode, you were truly emotionally moved by what you had experienced and the admiration you had for the people, these nameless people who do the jobs that keep America going. Uh, Talk to me a little bit about that experience. Well, there's a very fine line between um, emotional movement and physical exhaustion. (laughs) Typically, They did put you through the ringer there, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, I I didn't want to be the host of a TV show. I, I really thought this was back around 2001, I thought there was an opportunity to function a little more like an avatar or or maybe even an apprentice. So I wanted the stars of the show to be the anonymous people that we met. I didn't want to do a second take. I didn't want to rehearse. I didn't want writers or actors or scripts or any of that. So in a sense, it really was a genuine uh, reality show. We just didn't know it at the time because there really wasn't such a genre back then. But what we really learned, you know, from a TV standpoint anyway, is that if you just get production out of the way, and if you get out of your own way, you can really uh, expect and not be disappointed by the kind of interaction you'll find with regular people. They'll tell you the truth. Uh, They're funnier than you think. They're smarter than you think. But really, the big lesson from the show was, at a glance, you would look at it and think it was an anthem to nothing but hard work. But really, it was also an anthem and a tribute to entrepreneurship. Our guest is Mike Rowe. Of course, you know him as the host of Dirty Jobs on Discovery Channels for eight seasons. And by the way, those DVDs are available now. You should get them. And uh, he is in town. Uh, he's speaking tonight at the Koch Foundation's forum on, uh, it's called the Diploma Dilemma, Exploring the Cost and Value of College Education. And by the way, you can still go to it. You can RSVP, go to WMAL.com, and the link is there to RSVP for the event. You mentioned, you keep talking about hard work, hard work. And I read a story about what inspired you to start your uh, initiative called Mike Rowe Works. Uh, you saw a poster in your guidance counselor's office when you were in high school. Is that true? It's a totally true story. It was 1979. I suggested a two-year school. He said, look, first of all, that's beneath your potential. And then he pointed to a poster that was hanging over uh, his shoulder on the wall. And this poster really and truly was uh, the beginning of not just an old platitude that you'll recognize when I tell you, but a PR campaign for higher education. On the poster was a recently matriculated graduate proudly holding his diploma next to a grease monkey holding a wrench, looking very much like he had just been awarded some vocational consolation prize. And the caption said, work smart, not hard. And so college got a great PR campaign. Higher education got a ton of press, and it needed it. But like all PR campaigns, it went too far. And we started to promote one form of education, in my opinion, at the expense of a lot of others. Mike Rowe, i got to ask you this, because you somehow uh, learned that lesson in your guidance counselor's office and then took it and joined the Baltimore Opera. You're, you're a Baltimore native, and then you, <laughs> you got into opera. How did that happen? Well, look, I mean, I, I don't want to turn it into a total biography, but honestly, what happened to me was I very much wanted to be a tradesman. My grandfather was my role, role model. He lived next door. And he could build a house without a blueprint, and I didn't get the gene. And it was, it was very frustrating. So opera? Opera was the option? 
the thing, <laughs> honestly, Larry, the option wasn't the opera. The option was getting a different toolbox and approaching uh. my career as a tradesman. Now, my trade, I didn't have a trade, but I got a different toolbox. I learned to sing. I studied. I wrote. I learned to act. I took all sorts of different courses. I went to that community college. And look, I took a lot of things that ultimately didn't redound to any specific benefit. But at 28 bucks a credit, I could afford to be wrong. Yeah. And I learned a lot about what I didn't want to do, what I could do, what I might do. I took a year or two off after off after that. I did join the opera. Ultimately, I went back to school. And then I got into this ridiculous Hollywood machine. But I always try to approach it as a tradesman. Yeah, and you still seem like a good Marylander the, through all of this. Hey, I'm home, hon. I'm back <laughs> in Baltimore. So, uh, Mike, Greg, i got to ask you really quickly with the whole, I, I, I'm dwelling on the opera thing, but you got a great voice, and I, I love the fact that you have a background in the arts. I do as well. You, your dad was a tradesman. How did he accept his son going into the arts field? Nothing but support. Great. Um, my dad actually taught public school. My grand father was an electrician, plumber, steam fitter, pipe fitter, welder, mechanic, architect, all that. Wow. He was a little puzzled by it, but mostly, look, the only thing we really, really, really had to toe the line with in my family, there were two four-letter words that mattered. The first was work. The second was debt. You couldn't have enough of the first, and you were absolutely forbidden to have any of the second. And those things informed me. And I wound up on a totally different stage than anybody thought I would go to. But in the end, there's still no substitute for either. Wow, great stuff. Mike Rowe, thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad you're in town. Again, I want to remind everyone, it's the Koch Foundation's forum. It's called the Diploma Dilemma, exploring the costs and value of college education. I'm going to be there. And uh, if you want to go, you can as well. Go to WML.com, find the link, and you can RSVP for the